Hi everyone, welcome to Computer Science and IT Gate Coaching. Today in this lecture we are going to do a detailed analysis of gate paper, gate CAC paper. Okay, so that analysis I have made by using seeing the last 10 year papers. I have not gone beyond that because beyond that the pattern was little bit different. So that's why I just stick to last 10 year papers because it is going to give a relevant data. Okay, and I have written the subject in a way that we should study in that order okay in the priority that we should study first subject and then second subject in that way only i have written that okay now if you see first subject that i have written is engineering mathematics it is very much important because if you see the average marks of engineering math is 15 maximum marks that they have got in engineering math we got is 23 minimum marks is 10 and mode mode means the frequency of marks which came more number of times. So here 16 and 12 is the two marks where it came more number of times. So, so maximum you can get 23. So with the paper I can say that that by seeing the analysis it can be changed. But what they are helping us that we should know that maximum I can get a 23 marks from maths. Average is 15, minimum is 10 and maximum number of times they have asked for 16 and 12. Okay. Now same way we have seen for aptitude. Aptitude is very very important because see here in the precedence I have first written engineering math then aptitude. It is like if you say in engineering mathematics there is probability and probability is also in aptitude. Okay, so you should follow this order only. And in aptitude 15 marks, average, maximum, minimum, and more. Always 15 marks is going to miss. This is one subject means one. Uh, yeah, you can say that it is a subject only because this programming data so all these are one subject you can say that from this aptitude you are getting a 15 marks question that is always clear means before the exam actually one thing that you are sure that 50 marks question is going to come from aptitude so itself means it is having a 15 percentage weightage so you can say that it is a highest weightage you can say that okay and even if you see if you study for aptitude you are even preparing for your programming means placement also because everywhere in bank exam in ISRO it means in any PSUs and most of the PSUs not like any PSUs most of the PSUs and most of the interviews most of the exams are going to have aptitude okay in TCS and all so aptitude is very important even in aptitude only one thing is mentioned that two marks question will be of two if you see the two marks question is going to be a five questions and one marks question is going to be a five so total in aptitude you are going to get 10 questions, 5 questions are going to have 1 marks and 5 questions are going to have 2 marks. So see, these we are already know. So it is very important. Okay. So you, so you should start your preparation from first either do aptitude or engineering math. So this should be your order. Okay. Now we see engineering math and aptitude in average if you take it's taking 30 marks it's taking 30 marks okay so means 30 percent weightage if you see that the last uh, three years four years or even last 10 years the cutoff is always less than 30 okay so in some trend from last two two three years the cutoff has increased but it was having average 25 okay when this in the last uh, if you see beyond the last three years then it was just only 25 the cutoff so if you just study these two subject good way then you are even going to get a cutoff. Okay, but I will not say that you just only study this to submit. Okay, because it, it 30 is there, but there can be some difficult question from that. So it, it may happen that from 30, you may get if you do if you really work hard, then aptitude, no one will say that you will definitely get 12. You are definitely going to get 12 marks. And from maths also, you can you can manage even here also you can score 12. Okay. So this way you can hear you can see that 24 you are going to get. Now which subject you should prepare next that programming and data structure. Why programming and data structure? Again you see the order I have written it is useful in both gate as well as your placement. This aptitude will ask in your placement as well in your gate exam. This programming and data structure is a core subject in computer science. If you don't know programming and data structure you can't see your future in, in industry. Okay, so this is the core and most important subject and it's carry 12 marks average marks. See here, in the whole, this, all these subjects are the core subject of computer science. 
and this subject only carrying the highest marks to LC average and all remaining it's less than even not having 10 but programming the data structure is having a 12 marks so it is the most important subject if you see as a core subject of computer it's the most important subject okay now maximum marks is having 40 minimum they have asked 6 marks and more means more number of times they have asked 40 and that means frequency and 40 marks means coming of 40 marks from programming data structure is more as well as 9 okay now we, are, we should study algorithm why because programming in data structure after that you should study only algorithm because it is having a combinations because after programming in data structure only you you are having that algorithm that the linking is there okay so after that you should study algorithm and the average marks of algorithm is 8 maximum marks they are asking 10 and minimum is 6 and maximum number of times they have asked how much marks 6 okay now next which subject you should study now theory of computation why theory of computation it's an easy subject it's easy subject. nothing you need to remember it's an easy subject just only you need to practice like maths it is like maths only okay average marks is 8 you can score from from these 6 marks easily you can score if you study well now maximum marks they, they have asked 10 minimum they have asked 6 and more means maximum number of times they have asked 8 marks from TOC okay now compiler design now com see after TOC I have written compiler design why because again that for compiler design you require a prerequisite theory of computation you should have a knowledge of theory of computation then you will be able to know means learn compiler design okay and it is really speaking it's very easy subject compiler design is very easy subject average marks is 5 maximum marks they were 7 minimum 3 and more number of times more number of times is generally asked for 4 marks 4 marks from compiler design more number of times they are asked now the next subject which is easy and even it is having a good weightage see database you know that it is an easy subject database OS all these are easy subject database is having 8 marks average maximum marks they have asked from database is 12 database management system okay minimum they have asked 4 marks it's a yeah if you see that minimum they have asked 4 marks means there can be some bad day that you have prepared database and they have asked 4 marks from there so it can be a bad day if they are asking 4 marks and if you have prepared so see I always say that this is a competitive exam you can't fix anything that if you only study some like the digital logic always it is going to have 8 marks okay like this is the maximum marks so some it's just a 3 day sorry 3 hours match just like T20 okay so in that 3 hours if you done well you are going to get into IT but for this 3 hour you have to prepare for 1 hour 1 year okay so just for 20 20 matches like that the players practice same like you have to do so it's they say that it is a 3 hour match but for that we have to practice 1 year or more than 1 year okay so now we, we were at database so minimum 4 but maximum number of times they work 6 right means frequency of asking 6 marks from database is more same as for 8 marks okay that's why I will return a comma okay more number of times they works means this is the same number of times they works 6 marks or 8 marks from database now the next subject is operating system operating system is easy subject it's an easy subject totally easy subject okay and even the average is 8 now maximum marks they works 10 minimum 6 and more number of times they works 8 marks from OS now next is digital logic so in this order only you should study okay not digital logic digital logic average marks is 5 okay maximum marks they have from digital is 8 but more minimum is 2 and more number of times they have 5 okay now computer network see these two subjects I have written at last why because computer network is a lengthy subject I am not saying that it is a difficult it is a lengthy subject here you need to require you need to mark many formulas okay it's going to take more time okay so that's why i have written at last because when whenever i have interacted with the student most of the time at the end in november december they say, say they say that sir my cn is remaining my co is remaining and one thing is that co is the difficult one the difficult subject which you will take 
from this one of the difficult or most difficult subject is COA. Okay, so this subject is like that. If you if you have uh, studied, you can't give a guarantee that you are going to get the answer. Okay, means if they will ask easy question, it is fine. You will able to answer. But if it is a difficult question, means it's a guarantee that no one will able to give the answer. Like same way, it's happened. Means no one. It doesn't mean that no one will be. Someone will be there just like the topper who are having more than 90 marks. Okay, so they they are the genius. Means they have did really well even in that tough subject. Okay, so that's why I have put computer network and computer organization at below. So computer network average marks is eight, maximum marks their marks is eleven, minimum six, and more maximum number of times is eight. Okay, and COA computer organization and architecture average marks is eight. Maximum number of times they works 11, minimum 4, and mod means maximum number of times they works for 9 months. Okay. Now, this is the detailed analysis based on the last 10 years I have did. So, in that order, you should only study. If you see only these three, this four only, the average of that engineering, mathematics, aptitude, programming, and data science algorithm, 15, 15 is 30, and 12, 8 is 20, that 30. Plus 20 is 50. So this four subject, if you consider this four subject, engineering, maths, aptitude, programming, and algorithm, is going to give you 50 percent weightage. 50 percent weightage means half, half. See, so total you are having 11 subjects. So aptitude I am considering as a one subject. Now total you are having 11. If you just do this four subject in a good way, then you are going to get. That means. I'm going to cover 50% of weightage of the gate. Okay, so these four are the most important, and this order you should proceed. Okay, all the best for your gate exam. Thank you, everyone.